I will talk about my workout experience. Having multiple sclerosis, what do I do and how do I get through working out? Hey, my name is Tashira and this is my multiple sclerosis journey. So some may ask, why are you working out? I know I'm small and it's not to necessarily lose weight or to even gain weight, but it is to kind of build muscle. And that doesn't mean like a simple strengthening type exercise to actually loosen your muscles because spasticity is always a problem for me um, and my muscles, my legs, when I'm hurting, the aches and pains. If I stretch, if I do yoga, if I work out, it actually feels better. So when I say build muscle, that's for strength. But when I say loosening muscles, that's because of the stiffness. Spasticity is where certain muscles continuously contract, which causes stiffness and tightness of the muscles, which is what I mean when I talk about being in pain. It definitely interferes with movement. But the goal is to actually strengthen my body and um, gain stability because I'm really, really clumsy in my walking is not the best all the time. Yeah, it already looks better. It sure does. Let's get a close up of those triceps. Oh, close up perfect. Look at that tricep. Jesus. That's what I'm talking about. And those shoulders. You got them delts and triceps. Look at that thing. Damn. fortunate enough to link up with some really nice people that agreed to train me being that I have multiple sclerosis they know a little about it or a lot about it actually they know about it and they work with um, other people that have multiple sclerosis but they are great and I'm really appreciative because I don't know anybody else who could deal with me trying to work out So my workout is never the same. It's always different. And oh, I just be complaining. <laughs> and they'd be like, you could do it. They're really motivating. But time is always kept short to um, prevent any immediate aches or pains. And they always tell me to take breaks, catch your breath slow down it's okay um but my workout is usually about 30 minutes and it seems like such a short time but I, they make me do a lot in the 30 minutes and i'm just like okay you can do it because my balance isn't the best it's difficult for me to do a lunge the proper way so to keep steady i have to hold on to something that was four <laughs> thing is knowing what I need to do to get better because I can't have a trainer forever but for right now I'm gonna take advantage of it and they just keep teaching me different things um, to help strengthen my body that's the goal core exercises because strengthening my core will help my balance and my stability and it's hard I mean it's not hard it's it's, it's hard <laughs> I work with small weights and I definitely don't mind because I have to start somewhere. I mentioned earlier about building muscle for strength and you saw me doing push-ups and now I'm going to do squats. Good. Keep that core tight. Good. Here we go. Drive 
Drop those knees out. Push them out. There you go. Good work. Good. Knees, knees, knees. Actually, having a trainer shows me that when I was going to the gym, I would just play around because I wasn't really doing nothing. Like, I mean, it helped and I would do stuff on my legs. It helped, but actually having a trainer, they be on you and I'm just like. <laughs> You don't remember what you do, but you don't want to ask me. You're okay. Up, up, up. So I actually read somewhere the stronger you are, the easier it'll be to move around. And right now, if I had one wish, I would wish for the ability to be able to move around better. Let's go. Yes. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. No, I hate those. And he was just in the And I Having MS, people have different symptoms. And heat actually impacts me in the worst way. And because I'm sensitive to heat, that's why I don't try to overdo it during my workouts. Um, I'm not trying to sweat. That's not just. I get hot. I don't want to have a, a reaction or a relapse due to me working out trying to help my body. So I'm just going to avoid overheating. If you are going to work out and you have multiple sclerosis, don't overdo it. Definitely take your time. Take short breaks. Um, try not to overheat and stay hydrated because you're going to need it. Avoid that bounce at the bottom, so once you hit depth, just pop right back up. Shower, how do you feel after your workout? I'm tired, boss. <laughs> I feel like that was a lot. It wasn't long, but I feel like it was a lot. It was intense. Yeah. My legs shaking. My legs. Huh? <laughs> I listed some of the workouts that are done in the video, plus a few extra for you to try. to actually get up and try to work out because it's necessary if you have multiple sclerosis I mean even if you don't you should work out too but take the steps necessary to make yourself feel better that's all I have for today hopefully I was able to help someone um, hopefully I gave some good tips that will work for you and if you have any tips for me please leave them down in the comment section. Tell me what I can do to help strengthen my body. And if you have multiple sclerosis, hopefully I gave some insight on why it's important to work out. Um, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.